Prince Harry pays tribute to eternal bond with Princess Diana in emotional awards speech. Prince Harry paid tribute to the eternal bond between a mother and son as he accepted the Pat Tillman Award for service at the 2024 Aspie Awards in the U.S. Prince Harry paid a touching tribute to the eternal bond between a mother and son as he accepted the Pat Tillman Award for service at the 2024 Aspie Awards on Thursday 11th of July. The Duke of Sussex was recognized with the award, given to an individual with a strong connection to sports who has served others. In a way that mirrors the legacy of former NFL player and U.S. Army Ranger, Pat Tillman, for his work with the Invictus Games. Harry founded the Invictus Games a decade ago to support injured and sick servicemen and women- both on active duty and veterans, who are navigating physical and invisible injuries. Despite criticism from the soldier's mother, Mary Tillman, over the decision to honor him. The 39-year-old royal made sure she was one of the first people he mentioned in his acceptance speech. Harry, who tragically lost his mother, Princess Diana, when he was just 12 years old, said, I'd like to begin by expressing my deepest gratitude to everyone at the Pat Tillman Foundation, led by Marie Tillman Shenton, who am so honored is here tonight. I'd also like to acknowledge the Tillman family, especially Mrs. Mary Tillman, Pat's mother. Her advocacy for Pat's legacy is deeply personal and one that I respect. The bond between a mother and son is eternal and transcends even the greatest losses. It comes ahead of the anniversary of the death of his mother, Diana, Princess of Wales. Before Harry took to the stage at Los Angeles Dolby Theatre, the night's host, tennis champion Serena Williams, introduced three heroes who had competed in the Invictus Games. The prince urged them to stay with him as he delivered his speech, saying, You need to be with me. Harry dedicated his award to thousands of sick and wounded veterans and service personnel who have participated in the Games. Addressing the audience, which included his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, he said, The truth is, I stand here not as Prince Harry. Pat Tillman Award recipient but rather a voice on behalf of the Invictus Games Foundation. And the thousands of veterans and service personnel from over 20 nations who have made the Invictus Games a reality. He continued, this award belongs to them, not to me. That said, it is of great importance to me to highlight these allies, athletes and their amazing families for their achievements, their spirit, and their courage at every opportunity. Especially on nights like this, in front of people like you. Moments like these help us reach those that need Invictus the most and reduce the more than 20 veterans a day taking their own lives, in this country alone. This year, we are celebrating 10 years of witnessing life-changing impact and healing through sport. And while so much progress has been made since those first games, the world outside seems to be in an even more precarious state. We live in an age marked by polarization and division. Conflicts rage around the globe. Anger and resentment towards those who are different seem to pervade societies everywhere. Our community challenges that. Our community proves that unity is not just possible, but formidable. Speaking to DailyMail.com, she said, I am shocked as to why they would select such a controversial and divisive individual to receive the award. There are recipients that are far more fitting. There are individuals working in the veteran community that are doing tremendous things to assist veterans. These individuals do not have the money, resources, 
connections or privilege that Prince Harry has. I feel that those types of individuals should be recognized.